What's up guys? Gotta reshoot an intro. That's why it's really dark in here right now. <laughs> Don't worry, the reaction stuff will look a lot better. We're gonna watch The Boys Season 2 Episode 3 today. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our next reaction for The Boys is up or if there's something that just pops up in your feed that intrigues you from our channel. Friendly reminder, YouTube only allows about 10 minutes worth of footage from the show to be shown. So this is reaction highlights. Full length reaction watch alongs will be over at our Patreon page where you sync up with the time code. Speaking of Patreon, we'd really appreciate your guys' support if you could become a Patron eject today. Over there, we cover a lot of TV shows. We're at the same tier, we have the option for for reaction highlights and watch alongs included. Those shows are Supernatural, Doctor Who, JoJo's Bizarre Adventure, The Promise Everland, Attack on Titan, Death Note, My Hero Academia, Code Kias, Hunter Hunter, One Punch Man, Full Metal Alchemist Brother, Violet Evergarden, Demon Slayer. And we also do watch alongs for a bunch of other shows as well. And lastly, I want to give a special thanks to Eric over at Nerd Chronic, who is like the main editor for the movie trivia Schmodown. He is for a bunch of reactors you might have seen before. Thank you so much for cutting this together for us. Buddy is an amazing editor and good uh, friend too. Good friend too, but more importantly, a good, a better editor than a friend. <laughs> go, I don't like it. Go check out his podcast or her podcast or friend. Billy Joel. <laughs> Are the writers big fans of Billy Joel? I mean Dennis Quaid is. <laughs> it's like, Son, I have one wish for All you. Right. I can get you this role. Sorry? First Sincere. step. Yeah, I said it. We all square. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> he, <laughs> he fell over. You don't think it compromises her allegiances? If it comes to that, I'll neutralize her. She's Actually, right behind you, man. It's truly touching. <laughs> Don't condescend him when he's giving you the answer you want. I told you! <laughs> no. I knew someone was right behind him! It's just a figure of speech, man. Oh, God. We're gonna get demonetized for matching audio. <laughs> <laughs> they can even tell the sign language. <laughs> That's how good the algorithm is. I <laughs> You don't know Americans. I was gonna we, say, we don't well, do that. <laughs> we will find a way. It's advanced interrogation. This should be a reality show. Oh God, okay. the milk. Gotta swirl it around <laughs> his mouth, isn't it? Oh, yeah. disgusting! Uh, oh my God. Kiara Raisin Bran, blah, blah, blah. C. You're teaching our child Spanish? You're speaking Mexican, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I want to shoot the whole thing handheld, right? Very green grass, very grounded. I want to take the audience and literally put them, boom, right there in the action. What's the plan on translucent? That's a great question. Okay, we're going to take a stuntman, put him in a jumpsuit, and just CG him out. And <laughs> I'm sorry to interrupt no, of course. this love fest. I just want to be a part of it. Understood. Um, <laughs> You write all women as either unknowable Hitchcock bitches or Michael Bay fuck dolls. I mean, I get that a lifetime of jerking off to Transformers didn't exactly make you popular with the ladies, but um, a little effort would be nice. I love her. Who is this I actress? <laughs> but I do have two sisters. Oh, okay. <laughs> Hell yeah, man. You. That's all you did. You go. <laughs> if this is all true, I will get a strategy together with crisis management and PR. We're fine for now, Ashley. Sir, is it true? We're what investigating. What? What's going on? Sir, I have to tell you something. I don't think we're supposed to know. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Major breaking news. What's going on? Superheroes are not boys. <gasps> Compound me! Oh, damn! Produced and administered by Vault International. Because Whoa, that's a wow. turn of events. We're going to lose everything. I mean, cars, houses, bonuses. There are more. Important things. You don't know what you're talking about, Starlight. Yeah, my movie deal. <laughs> <laughs> Poor people. And the people who grew up with money. Ooh, good point, bro. Good point. Ooh, damn. I did damn. not grow up with money, so if anyone wants to pay me. Anxiety in the affected children, especially. Oh, even he's sad. Oh, he. Yes! yes! Here we get some love. <laughs> Thank God. <laughs> you teach Huey? Oh, shit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah. Nice one. You can't even give me this, can you? I'll buy you a nice big family-sized bottle of top-shelf lube. 
and I'll tickle your balls to your big meat of stomp. And even then, I won't. I just won't do it. <laughs> Shit can go sideways just like. So, all of you, keep your fucking eyes on the ball. Yeah? He makes a good point. He, he makes really a does. really he good really point. Does, yeah. mm -hmm. Yes, yeah, so go fuck yourself, Huey. Yeah, fuck Huey. you, Huey. Shit. Get the fuck out of here with that smushed face. <laughs> yeah. That'd be like if our government told us that aliens were real and we just didn't give a fuck about it. Babe, keep politics out of this political commentary, okay? <laughs> yeah. You ready? Um, ready for what? To jump. Oh, no. Yeah. I hope this kid turns fucking evil by the end of this season. <laughs> That'd be great. Oh. You called me dad. <laughs> oh, knock him off. No. Just knock him off now. I yep. knew it! Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> no. God. Run! Hey! Hey! <laughs> what did you do? It's fine. It's a 20 foot drop. Relax. Inhuman fucking monster. I need you to wake up. Baby, can you hear me? I'm right here. I don't think he's breathing. He's fine. I don't think he's breathing. I don't think he's... Look. See? Told you. Yeah, he's not even bleeding. Because he's my son. So he, he would be like the firstborn... Yeah. Firstborn superhero. Like, yeah. What I did to you was give you a son. Oh, you creep. Like a little girl. Oh, you creep. Go with me. He's oh, away. now the power's coming out. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Brightburn. Yes. <laughs> Just like me, Ryan. No, I'm not like you. I'm nothing like you. I fucking hate you. Leave us alone. Hey, hey it's okay. I'm not angry. <laughs> it's okay. I'm not angry. Yeah. <laughs> it's okay. Maybe this is our chance to leave while we can. <laughs> Elena. If we do that, you know what'll happen. Uh, Homelander will be here. Not uh, interrupting, am I? You know I have super hearing, right? <laughs> oh, fuck. Life, huh? He's going to do something fuck right now, right? I know. Right? Yeah, He's going to do good something dude. so yeah. fuck. Her hand goes. Who's Elena? Elena! <laughs> what bullshit? Wait, you haven't heard? Where oh. have you been? No, he hasn't heard. Oh, God. <laughs> Uh oh. You know, y'all. Oh, oh, oh y'all look Whoa. like terrible criminals now. Yep. I was just wondering, have you ever seen the, the music video for that Billy Joel song, <laughs> You're Only Human? And now I, I feel like I'm I'm that kid, and thank God I found my second win because it's it's you. Second win. Um. Okay, delete. Thanks. Delete. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> oh God, we're all feeling like a train right now. <laughs> <laughs> right now, catching this super terrorist is the villain. Super villain. Sure. Whatever. It must be our <laughs> He doesn't care about us. We're not his partners, we're his oh, product. Oh no. So who gives a shit if Fop burns the fucking ground? You should think before you say something you don't mean. Really, should I? We are not bought. The world still needs superheroes. And that, family, that's what we are. So let's get out there and do what it is we do. Ah, oh, it's bad. <laughs> oh, it's bad. Oh. They hit a whale, didn't they? They hit a fucking whale. She can't handle animal deaths. Heads up. Wow, and they're gonna need him to. Oh. Oh no. <laughs> oh. This is not your episode, baby. Oh my. Whoa. Oh. There's the whale. Ooh. Wow. <laughs> <You're> <laughs> such a joke. <laughs> Oh, they're gonna oh, crash into oh. it. They're gonna oh, crash no. into it. You don't wanna watch I'm this, not baby. Watching. I'm not watching. Oh, God. Tell me when it's over. Oh, my God. Whoa! 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 Whoa!
Did they do it? Oh, yeah, they've they, done it. They crash they right did it in. A lot. Yeah. They did it a lot. Oh, oh. oh okay. I don't Keep think. I don't think you should. <laughs> maybe you should just leave. Maybe you should get in the car, go home. <laughs> um, you know what? Can you guys go ahead. <laughs> <laughs> He's your canary. You let your canary die. How you gonna know when you're gone too far? Oh, I want a load of bollocks. Just like that reenactment. I was gonna say. I am the law. He said bollocks. <laughs> <laughs> hey. What happened? I killed her. You fucking killed her, man. What? I just was trying to help out. You know, I got some intel. I'm sorry. I was just like, I'm gonna try to stop him. I tried to cut him. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Black He's so <laughs> sensitive, Black Noir. <laughs> I'm going to do everything in my power to renew my light. Mm. Not just for you, but for all the female people that I've offended. Renew female people! Female. <laughs> Your gill is showing. Ooh, shaming him. Shaming him. It's disgusting. Oh! oh shaming him! Turning point. Shaming him. You got my message. Yep, that's what it was. Yeah. She had to, man. Don't be talking about messages and shit. Oh fuck, he heard it. Oh, he totally heard it. I'd like you to do something for me, okay? Oh no. Oh Kill no. Him. Hands in the air, like you just don't care. Sick <laughs> <laughs> yeah. fuck. Like you just don't care. <laughs> She's gonna attack Homelander, huh? Yeah, totally. Cunt. <laughs> William? <laughs> what a surprise. <laughs> you know, I had a great breakfast with your wife this morning. Oh, oh bird! Delicious. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Eat this motherfucker. Oh! Oh, they're back! Oh, thank oh, God, we could go back to loving Huey. <laughs> <laughs> what him? Hey, guys! Whoa! <gasps> Ow! This is a fucked up sword for me. What the oh, fuck did he fuck? You bitch! No, don't do it, bitch. Don't do it. Oh, she's oh so evil. <laughs> Come on, Kimiko. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Oh, my God. Oh, it's like Terminator 2. Yeah. Super just yourself, I guess. Whoa. Who is this bitch? Oh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. That absolute <laughs> fuck. <laughs> Oh my Whoa! god, she is murdering so many people! Wow! <laughs> oh, oh, they're gonna get all the blame. Oh, oh hell no, you better not kill her off. I no. swear to god, no. Don't you dare. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> Ew! Oh, you bitch! Ew, you bitch! Oh, oh my her. god! I hate her. I hate her so much. I had a feeling something fucking yellow back. <gasps> oh, you she fucking bitch! This. Oh, there she is. There she is. Something seems messed up, but I did not expect that. You snooze, you lose, Gramps. <laughs> oh God. <laughs> oh. Oh, he's taking the number one spot. Team Homelander. Wow, 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 wow. <laughs> All right, cool. I got this conflicted shadow going on. <laughs> it's the most dramatic review. I'm at a crossroads. What do I do before the finale? 
<laughs> Clint Eastwood lighting here. So you guys get today from me. It's 110 degrees, guys. So we're not going to talk for too long. Okay. Right. But things are popping off. But yeah, it's like the, the the setup complete. You could really feel the pulse of the show really coming into play in this particular episode. You know, I love that turn of events of how the compound V gets exposed to the world, how that's the creation of the superheroes. All right, we got a victory. But then, you know, Butcher, even though everyone's like, Butcher, you're being a dick. And I'm like, Butcher's always a dick. What's your guy's problems? Yeah, He's being a dick to Butcher. That's his thing. He's a dick. That's <laughs> why we like him. That's why we like him, because he's a dick, but he gets the job done and he knows more than most people. <laughs> so right away, like he says, things are changing a snap. And then sure enough, with the brother breaking now, taking down the helicopter deep and the, the whole thing with the whale, but all that with the reveal of Stormfront. All right, that's like, I imagine that's the main thing on everyone's mind. They just slowly, not slowly, but bit by bit started letting you go, Oh, she's, she's messed up. What? She just murdered that family. Did, oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. She just <laughs> tortured that guy's wrist. She likes to watch them die. She's racist. <laughs> just kept going on. She's just got it's everything. the one thing I took away from there. I was like, oh my God. Oh my. She's a racist. I mean, we've seen evil and corrupt in this, but. What? Pure racism? Have they done that yet? I mean, <laughs> Homelander seems at least like a tolerant guy. Uh, culture. Homelander yeah. is inclusive. Okay. Yeah. Oh my God. I went from. Wow, I really like this new character to, oh my god, I hate her. Kill her as with horribly as you can. fiery passion. I mean, yeah, in the last episode, I'm forgetting exactly where Kimiko is from, her, her actual country. They're having the discussion of like, here's what the Americans are like. Then you just kind of, it's like a, just a big slap in the face to the brother right there to die that way and then have a racist remark thrown his way at that moment too. After oh, yeah. he warned her yeah. of what the superheroes were and why he wanted to be on the other side. Yeah. This is uh, how they are when they come out and do their foreign policy and this is what they don't show you guys, yeah. Brutal. And then of course, like the whole thing with Vought, you know, just completely backpedaling and acting like they didn't know and blaming well, it on a dead woman, you know? I think it was kind of expected for that to happen because all of season one was about, oh, if we get Compound B out, the world will change. But realistically, that's not what happens. We'll see, yeah. I mean, there's so much set up right now of craziness that could go on. It's it's like, as much as their stocks are plummeting and the world is like, what the hell, the superheroes are made. I don't know where this show's gonna go, but I imagine a scenario where there's gonna be some people who are like, we gotta get our hands on some Compound V then, if we can, you know, yeah. have powers ourselves, right? Or yeah. you'll see another <laughs> pharmaceutical yeah. entity coming up with their own. They could yeah. sell this for yeah. a lot of money. Exactly, they could they could find a way to get even more corporate greedy yeah. evil and just well, find yeah. a way to profit more by, oh, we can now sell Compound V. Well, yeah, mm -hmm. and now that it's not a secret, you know, after a certain period of time, then they're gonna have to release the details so that there's competition <laughs> yeah. in the marketplace. This is how My Hero Academia starts. <laughs> yeah, this, is, this is the pre- <laughs> Equal to my hero right. Yeah, he'll become Jesus. all for one by the end of this. <laughs> there is perfect. Yeah. I mean, between the three episodes, this is definitely the most like exciting and most pulse pounding yeah. of them all. <laughs> it's a fucking deep dude. <laughs> I just can't. Get he is just the saddest <laughs> character. And yeah, and and them bringing that whole thing back with Homelander, like telling him to put Shaming his gills him. away. Yeah. Oh. Disgusting. It is funny because you know. He's yeah, not we've, wrong. We've talked. <laughs> True. <laughs> Objectively, <laughs> we've talked about, you know, the, the grayness of, of, you know, the deep as a character because obviously we meet him in this really shitty way. But now I'm sitting here going, is he going to like rift away from the seven because of this? Like, is his self-empowerment journey going to put him in some kind of weird rogue position where now we're going to begrudgingly work with him or something yeah, like that because he knows know. there's secrets No, I think he's going to go to the cult. Like, I think the story for him is how he goes into the cult. Thing. How he gets mm. preyed yeah. upon just because he has such yeah. little self esteem. Oof. Beyond that, it's like I, I'm happy that Huey and Butcher are getting along again. And it feels like they, they got there in a natural way, mm. a way that felt earned. Because, yeah, it's one of those things with Huey where <laughs> I always get where Huey's come from for the most part, I do, but I think I'm always going to be. Um, Siding with Butcher no matter what. Because I love know, Butcher. He knows yeah. usually what he's yeah. talking about. It's like, I like Huey, but I love Butcher. Yeah. There's yeah. a main difference there. And, and part of Huey's worth as a character is being there to be like, well, you know, we got to think about other stuff too. Yeah. You know, like, he's got to be a bit of a foil, which isn't as fun. Because this Compound V exposure, as much as they were praising Huey in the beginning of it, the fact that it happened on episode three means there's going to be some major repercussions yeah. to what yeah. goes on here. 
Sure. You're even setting up this thing with like the seven disbanding from Vought in some fashion yeah. too. Like with Homelander taking a stand, like just putting down the main guy in charge in front of the other superheroes. Yeah. Which is a great scene, by the way. Mm -hmm. um, there's plenty of great scenes in this episode. Only makes yeah. me think that Stormfront is placed there specifically by the head guy to, to kind like of keep them in line. Or to be protection against Homelander. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. like Homelander's invincible, right? Yeah, so, can he be killed? I don't think he can be. He's <laughs> yeah, like I a bet that'll become a, a big be. driving force. Yeah. yeah. Is, is, there, is there an anti-compound V? But you know? it, I mean, as much as there's a bit of a rivalry thing happening between Stormfront and uh, Homelander, at least on Homelander's end. <laughs> yeah. Now I, we're all rooting yeah. for Homelander. I mean, they're, all, they're, they're gonna like team up in some way. I, I don't I, know, I, I don't see that. I'm thinking there's gonna be some type of partnership with them at first, but then Homelander's gonna turn and kill her. This no. town ain't big end. enough for I, the yeah. I think he's. Yeah. I think he's He's too competitive to team up with her. You don't think he's gonna like, like feign she is, partnership? No, no, I think she is threatening, his, and it hinted that at the end of this episode how displeased he looked with her standing up there. She is a threat to his leadership position. I think he'll feign being nice to her, but I don't think there'll be a team up, and I don't think she would team up with him at this point. I think they'll have sex. <laughs> yeah. No, I don't. On it now. <laughs> Might as well. <laughs> we'll see. There were so many just great little moments in here throughout. When Butcher and Homelander caught eye to eye, his taunting. Ooh. Oh, freaking <laughs> Homelander with that. I forgot it's in this episode. Yeah. Where Homelander pushes his kid off the yeah. roof. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> at the beginning of this episode. Oh, God. And that, like, I love how that whole thing went down, too. Because, you know, the kid proves, like, he proves to the kid that he's telling the truth. And yet, even still, the kid wants nothing to do with him. It is feeling like the better version of Brightburn. It, <laughs> yeah. it really is, and, it, and then it made me go, I don't know if we'll see the kid, you know, necessarily, you know, become a huge main character by the next episode or something, but I can definitely see there being a lot for him to do down yeah. the line. As, as long as that kid's a good him, actor and age as well. You yeah. get him threatening Queen Maeve too, which we called last episode. I was like, why the fuck are you saying anything? Clearly Elena's gonna die. Yeah. And None sure of you enough, can have phones. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> sure yeah. enough. Like, why does nobody look around? <laughs> yeah, I know. It's yeah. two times in this episode. Two times! Two well, times this happened in this yeah. episode, yeah. You know this dude can hear from anywhere. I know. Well, Eric Kripke just... wrote this episode. Yeah, it must be one of his tropes then that he just constantly uses. I wasn't expecting the brother to get killed off so soon. But, uh, but they're using it as a driving force yeah. for uh, Kimiko, though. Well, and it seemed great. like the most, uh, you know, <laughs> I'm bummed, but the most sensible way to alleviate the problem of us turning him over as yeah. a yeah. bargaining yeah. chip, and now there's even more motivation, yeah, for Kimiko to hone into her own power. F some S U. Yes. <laughs> I mean, and what's going to happen with Starlight? Because she oh, yeah. clearly didn't want to kill him. We don't know if she would have followed through on that. Like, I don't, I don't think she was I don't going to. Was gonna. Nah, but she's a starlight. She wouldn't do that. Would she, she can't also attack Homelander because he's kind of invincible. She's kind of caught in between this rock and a hard place. We don't know how she would have gotten out of that because Butcher's here. I feel like she would have let herself... Be killed? Yeah, I think she would have sacrificed herself. I mean, they were. she got to the part of her, the main, the biggest part of her goal, which was to expose Vaughn. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And that level of exposure is done, so I feel like she's the kind of character who would be willing to sacrifice herself. Well, and because she knows that she has, you know, the power that Huey obviously does yeah. not. So, like, in that situation, I think just that instinct alone of, well, I gotta protect this guy, because what else, you know? Yeah, yeah. You know, but and, is that really... See, then the thing is, is that protecting him? If she dies, he really loses everything within the Seven, true. you know? So I'm like, true. I don't know. Yeah. And then Black Noir was really <laughs> sad. <laughs> I love that character so much. I, I, he's like... He's, he's the way my favorite of the Seven. Yeah. Like, <laughs> yeah. It's just, he's it's the only one who also has a little compassion. Yeah, he's just so affected by it. The boys are back in town, all grizzled and bloodied up. Because this felt the most focused to me. Because I've admittedly, I have found most of my interest to be with the superheroes in the last few episodes, yeah. mm -hmm. and this was easily the most naturally intrigued I was for the title characters, the boys <laughs> themselves. This feels like yeah. yeah, the real beginning of the adventure for yeah. them because the first two episodes almost felt like transitioning out of the first season still to me. Yeah. So yeah, this really feels like now all the pieces are in place, and now we're going yeah. to catapult forward yeah. on this compound vehicle. Exposed the whole thing with the sun, the boys are Stormfront, Stormfront, Stormfront. as a villain, and what's going to happen to Starlight? Yeah, all all these new puzzle pieces are set in place. Now we just got to wait for was it? They come out every Friday or something? Yeah. yeah. Homelander did look better. He didn't look as exhausted this episode. Did you guys notice well, that? Well, his relationship with the sun's getting better. Yeah, you know, <laughs> really connecting. 
You know Over those pancakes. You know how it goes. <laughs> All right, guys. Well, leave your thoughts down below. Make sure to subscribe and click that notification bell. We gotta call this video before we start, before we just burst into flames over here. All right. <laughs> <Much worse. laughs> and uh, patron of the day shout out. <laughs> Erica Tuesday. Erica, look, all three of us are together. Hey. It's been a while since the three of us were with you making the four of. Shut the fuck up, so, John. John, we know Erica better than you yeah. do. Course, so course. please let us let do me, the talking. I'll leave the what show. What is this guy's problem? Rude, rude. What were you going to say, John? I was going to make a hilarious joke about how we're not in your hot tub, but it's just as hot as that. <laughs> <laughs> well, you would know if, that Erica would love that kind of joke. Well, I mean, you know, you could get in the hot tub too. We could all get in the hot tub and just hang out and enjoy life because nothing's better than enjoying life with Erica. She brings out the good in everybody. Not you, John. Not Except you. For, well, no one brings she out the good in you. Brought out the you know. worst in you know. just now. I'm just Come saying. On. Clearly. I am sorry for him, Erica. Erica, thank you for all the birthday presents and thank you for being you. I mean, we actually know you. So do we, do we need to make this special? No. She got you a birthday present? Yeah. She Where's was in, she was in the Discord video, <laughs> and she also contributed in the Streamlabs. <laughs> you know, that's a birthday present. Mm -hmm. that well, you, this went well. Yeah. Yeah, John's doing a, a killer job today in your shout out. I, you know, I just wanted to derail the whole thing. My goal was to get in here, take all the structure out, <laughs> throw you off your grooves. So Thank you, Erica. This is your shout out. <laughs> Love you, dear. Be well. Love you.